Oh, joy. How'd this bunny get up here? Good lord, that's a lot of mobs. I'm dead already. Uh Hey, I got KO okay. Neat. Ah, an adhesive bandage. Okay, close. Oh. Those can hit you through walls, apparently. Okay, I got a bloody tear. I got... Two adhesive bandages, I got the bride skier, I got a bird, I got mechanical eye, and some stuff in my void vault too, I saw. Uh groom stuff, werewolf banner, and fast clock. This and that. That's a boss summoning item. Uh we are nowhere near ready enough for that. Like, if we were to summon that now, I, I, the fight would last like ten seconds. Again? It has come to my attention that uh, there is a thing we can do that will get us wings pretty pretty decent. We need more souls. I was right. We need more souls. So I'm just going to farm up the materials for the wings and hopefully we'll get some wings. Pixie dust. That's what I need. I need a heck ton of it too. It'd also be helpful if I didn't die. Oh, I need a better anvil. Okay, future reference at least. Oh yeah, I just remembered a tactic you can do with meteor shot. Ah, ah, aha. See, now the meteor shot ricochets. So what happens is, you shoot it straight up, and if there's a floating island above you, it'll ricochet and come back down. Bingo! Right above my house. This is what floating islands are normally like. With all this skyware stuff. And another goddamn Star Fury. Oh my god, you're kidding me, right? I can't get anything else. But you saw how easily that one was to find. Please don't be a Star Fury. God damn it, it's a Star Fury! Ah, oh, gotta keep killing the scorpions. Oh! <laughs> Why, King? Why? Why? You're just trying to hurt me now. I don't think the destroyer is gonna spawn. I think it got overridden by the blood. You don't have to entirely worry about missing one. What, really? Oh, this one got corrupted in the burst. Unlucky. Oh, finally, something other than a stupid freaking Star Fury. A sky mill. Neat. This is a shiny red balloon. I can tinker with this. All the way up in space here. What? Wings. I didn't even realize you could loot these from a chest. Um, screw the worm scarf. I'll gladly take 20% more damage in exchange for having wings, increased jump mobility, and I no longer take a single point of fall damage. I'll be able to get better wings, like, literally in the, in the upcoming episode, probably, if not the next one. So, a somewhat irrelevant discovery to have now. But I could also slow glide. Like this. Whee! Save on ammo. Don't have to go shooting the sky as much. I'm gonna do it anyway, though, because it's fun. Hello everybody and welcome back to Terraria. We're hard mode now. Um, I found some wings in between episodes. Apparently you can find wings in free hard mode now. Didn't realize that, but we have wings. They're terrible wings, but they're wings and that's good. 
Uh, we actually just need a little bit of resources to craft the uh, neck good pair of wings. So these are all the crates I was capable of fishing up before I completely ran out of bait. And I just cannot, for the life of me, get a suitable amount of bait for any reason. And it's moving towards a thunderstorm here, but we're going to open our crates anyway. Tartar sauce. Uh, well that's dumb. Lead. Okay, we're getting some bait. A tin. Ah, Palladium ore. More Palladium ore. Tons of Palladium ore. That's good. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is the best we can do. Please say we can make a pickaxe. Yes, we can. I'm gonna make the drill. I like the drills better. They have, uh... They're faster, but they have less range. And range isn't typically an issue for me, so I like faster. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got an enchanted sundial. Fast forward one day per week. Yes, please. Uh, I don't want that right now, though. Also, I put... Apparently have a bunch of bait in these chests somewhere. I looked through them earlier, but I didn't see any, so I guess I just gotta look harder. Here's my journeyman and my apprentice bait. Okay, that's that's good to have. I also got this uh, shiny red balloon. I raided every single sky island in my world. So, we can finally make what I've been looking for for a while. I need to unequip my cloud blizzard first. Blizzard and a balloon. Yay. Combine the two accessories, so now I can jump higher and I can do the double jump. So I've got some pretty insane vertical mobility at the moment. We're going to be doing some building in this episode. Here we go. Calming potion. I knew I had at least one of those. Uh, Alright, that's that's good for now. So first of all, I've got this special plant in my inventory. Oops. It's going to pop up here. I finished the houses. Uh, why am I... Oh, uh, it is. It's a desert. Okay. So let me just close the door real quick. Turn in the strange plant. Shadow die. These strange plants give you shadow die. Hey, whatever. I'll wear it. No reason not to wear it. Ooh, and there's a bunch of scorpions up here that I can catch for bait. Okay, I have a ton of bait now. That's going to be useful later. But for now, we need to find a good place underground, because... What I want to do is I want to rebuild all of our towns in the air so I don't have to worry about the corruption or anything like that. I don't have to worry about the biomes. So what I want to do is I want to leave this beach intact as best as I can, and I want to leave the jungle intact, of course. Those are not going to move at all. If, Unless absolutely necessary, they're not going to move at all. Now, one, one problem is that in order to build above the ground, you need to be above the ground, if that makes any sense. So, I, I need to find a good place to build my cave town. So, if, like, I can build the desert above, I can, like, move everything up, but I can't, like, build the cave town above. So, I need to find, A, a good place to build it, and then I need to, B, actually, you know, build it. It's a big blob of cloud there, apparently. So, what I think I want to do is I want to put it pretty deep. Like, I want to put it, like, around here. There's already pretty much, there's a pretty decent open space here. And I want to, I want to blast this out and make my town there. So, the way that corruption works with housing is that it will, it needs to be, if there's sufficient corruption within a 45 block radius, then it, um, It'll render the housing invalid. But I need to actually bring explosives with me, because five dynamite is not going to be enough. So, in terms of moving everything above the world, I'm going to make the houses look like airships. So I'm kind of in like an airship phase with my building practices. But in terms of underground, what I want to do is I want to like... I want to make it like the crash site of an airship, like it crashed underground and blasted out a huge crater and they're kind of living in the wreckage. Sort of like, um, if anyone who's watching has played Hollow Knight, sort of, I want to go for, is the town, I want to go for like a deep nest vibe, the deep nest town. I want to be like that, so like suspended above everything by ropes and stuff. And... Uh...
I uh, hopefully I'll have enough to. Oh god, no! Go away. I love flails. Flails are the best weapon. Flails and yo-yos, way better than swords. entire place is corrupted. I could, like, plant sunflowers or something around here to bring the corruption rating down, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to do that. So I crafted, in between episodes, I crafted a ton of this uh, stone accent slab, which is what I'm going to be using for our, um, for our, for our house, for our airships. Hi, wizard. I forgot about you. He likes the hollow biome, I think, so we're going to be making him a house in a minute, but moving everything up above the surface is going to take priority. Oh man, look how fast that goes. Even if I don't have the capacity to blow up all of this, the drill's going to make it easier than it would have been otherwise. God, 45 tiles is a lot longer than I thought it was. Uh, hold on. Oh, I should have brought a potion of return. Wait. Um, I want to bring my binoculars. Because I'm going to need them. For taking measurements. Corruption's already coming up through here. I gotta move fast. And then I think I'm going to plant a bunch of hollow seeds around at random points just to try and seed as much of the hollow biome in my world as possible. Because there's, there's not going to be a lot of hollow in our world. It's mostly corruption, because we started with three corruption biomes, which is a lot. And the hollow kind of got shafted with its location. God, if only it had been the hollow in the desert. If only. Would still have been a problem, but not nearly as much of a big one. Okay, 45. So that's 45, so we need to go a lot deeper just for the one house. Of course, once we get the one house, it's going to be um, a lot easier. So I say we should build it. We should find a place to build it and then carve out carve out around that place instead of trying to find a place that's 45 tiles away from every ground piece. I'm only down to 400. Oh, I could have sworn I had more. So let's start here. So stone accent slab. Now these don't connect to adjacent blocks, so it's that they're not gonna like fuse with the stuff I put in the ships to make the biomes count. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Tiles on either side as a balcony of sorts. And then workbench chair. If I had uh, if I had certain ore bars in my inventory, I could craft toward like candles for this too, because there's no normal wood candles for whatever reason. Also, can I not make stone accent walls? Oh, I think I need, um, I think I need a workbench for that. I should have brought my potion of return. Why didn't I bring my potion of return? Ugh, whatever. We'll save the background walls for later. Because we're going to have to go up to get, get something eventually, I bet. Okay, um, let me turn the ruler back on. I wish I could like put a mark on my map. So like up here at the bottom of this deposit is all needs to go away. God. I don't care if it's not cost efficient. Dynamite's way more time efficient. God. 
Okay, I'm getting. I'm making. I'm making walls now. Uh, apparently, you cannot make stone accent walls. So that's a thing. That's that's gonna cause some problems. Hold on. Let, let me let me just check on something. Uh, you can't make walls out of stone accent slabs, but you can make walls out of normal stone slabs. And I know I st I'm I'm gathering more stone. It's in my void vault, isn't it? Ugh. Inventory management. Oh my god, my void vault's so crammed with ash. Since when does it get so crammed with ash? We're gonna need a lot more of these for our airships, but for now, I'm also gonna grab my potion of return. For now, we're just gonna have to suffice with these. It should be enough to build at least two of the houses, and then I can put my cat in the one and then have the pylon active. Or maybe you only need two to have the pylon. You only need two to have the pylon active anyway, so. We're gonna. We have enough to make two houses, or even if we only have enough to make one, we can move the cat to the second one, or the first one, and have two NPCs there. Ooh. Uh. Oh god, that's a terrible spawn position. There we go. Okay, this is a nymph. You need to get out of there so I can actually hit you. Almost dead. Oh my god, yes! Metal detector! Do not crash now, game. Do not crash. That's so lucky. They only have like a 10% chance of dropping that, I think. And they're exceedingly rare to boot. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, they're exceedingly rare to boot. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bank that. Save an exit. I don't, I don't, I do not want to risk having to farm for that again because that was incredibly lucky. And now we can make the goblin tech, saving an inventory slot. So. Now all we need is some stuff from the angler, and then we can craft the cell phone. And um, that's gonna take a while because the angler is garbage. And why the demolitionist is up here? Did, he, did you move into the zoologist's house? Whatever, I can buy I can buy stuff from you, and that's all I care about. We just buy that. There we go. Half an hour, and we've thrown five sticks of dynamite and placed one framework for a house. Jeez, I really need to get movement. I thought I was going to be able to build at least one airship in this episode. I might be able to, depending on how much goes time-lapsed, but... You know. <laughs> With all the running back and forth I've been doing, that's never going to happen. There we are. Alright, this should be valid housing now. So come down here, demolitionist. And then I'm going to put the cat in here, too. Um... Then we're gonna stick the pylon right here. I I'm supposed to be invisible. Or did he just bump into me by- Oh, he, he, he did just bump into me by chance and he voided my entire invisibility potion. That's great. Okay. Then let's take our rope. And go up like this. Okay, now this is actually gonna be where the demolitionist lives. Because then I want to put one, um... Actually, is that far enough away? It's 25 blocks up. I don't know if that's going to be far enough away. But if I put the mechanic in here and then the goblin tinkerer like over here-ish, then it won't entirely... won't entirely be bad. Because the goal here is to, um... 
get the Goblin Tinkerer as happy as possible. So we just gotta wait until the Goblin Tinkerer moves back into our world. But I can move the mechanic into this house, because this is gonna be her house. <sighs> Great. Come on, cat. Get over here. Oh, the mechanic's here. That works too. Cat's not coming though. Oh, I know the cat's there too. Hey, cave bat banner. I should probably hang that down here. There. Oof. Easy travel. So when the goblin tinkerer shows up, this will be his house. Oh, you know what I should have gotten? I should have gotten my... Oh, I, I don't really have the accessory slots for them, but I should have gotten my bricklayer and cement mixer. Wait, they're in my void vault, aren't they? I am I am not very smart. I'm just going to put these on instead of the... Blizzard in a balloon, because I've got enough vertical mobility already. Let me just dump my void back. Just put this back in here for now. And the bricklayer instead of my shield, my other shield, my dash shield. So now I can build better. Of course, I'm, I'm done building this now. I'm not gonna be building again until I'm completely done with this city. Well, I'll be placing ropes, but you know, that barely counts. And I've still got plenty of vertical mobility thanks to my wings and market boots. All right. So now we just need to blast out 45 tiles in every single direction. So you're basically just going to be doing this for a while. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn off my mic and go into a sort of time-lapse mode. Time-lapse, engage!
this right here is in hard mode ore. I think this is titanium, actually. Pretty decently sized deposit, too. So I'm just going to leave this here and mine it when I can, because I can't right now. Holy moly, is this all titanium? Are you- This is cobalt down there, but it's like more titanium here. Oh my god. Alright, that should be sufficient. Apart from this random blob of titanium here that I can't mine. But that's a problem for later. Because I, I can't mine it right now. I need to get some tier 2 ore. So now I just want to extend these ropes. So no matter what happens, it shouldn't be possible for this housing to get corrupted. And even if it does, I can just blast out more. Because most of the blasting work's already been done for me. By me. God, the only disadvantage to this is I can't see a dang thing up here now. Oh, joy! I'm staying down here, thank you. Did I drop my rope? Yes, I dropped my rope. That's uh, the second time now, I think, that a boss has tried to spawn on me. And it shall be the second time that it fails. Okay. So we've kinda got our hanging houses here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that silt. I wanna, they, they look so similar, don't they? This is silt, this is accent slab, they're so similar. Um, I'm just gonna add the accents to the house. Whatever. I'm not going to take off this entire thing just to make that look good. In fact... I'm just going to do that. Alright. Right. I need to get some stuff out of my inventory. I got this cross necklace, though. Increases length of invisibility after... Invisibility. Invincibility after taking damage. That'll be helpful. Yeah, we've got tons of critter spawns down here now. And now, all I really want... This is actually a decent place to build it. Let's, let's start... I don't know, actually. Um, in a tile-based system, slanted constructions are never my straw s strong suit. Uh, what I'm thinking is... I don't want the entire ship to be built. And I might not even have it, like, um, slanted. So I'm gonna have, like, the front end here, maybe? See, it's not fusing with the other blocks. I'm not gonna worry about consistency with this, with the others. Older model that 
didn't do well and crashed. Never mind that it's buried 10 billion feet below. I, I, want, I want glow sticks. It's gonna be like broken down. The general idea is it was cannibalized to make the houses. So not all of it is here. So this is the back end, or the front end, sorry, that's the front end. Let's just get rid of this silt. I don't want it confusing me anymore. And then the back end is going to be up here. And one thing I do want to do is make sure the front end is consistent with the back end. So there are seven, seven tiles from top of from top of floor to bottom, to top floor to top of roof. So. Look at that. There. And then we'll have a bit of a captain's cabin going here. That's barely even a cabin anymore, because this was kind of what was cannibalized. Eh. That looks decent. Not that I'm going to be down here very often. Oh! Party time! And I kind of just want, like, some scraps down here. Okay, that'll do the trick. Um, time to go and face the pirates. It's gonna be one L of a party. Okay, here are the pirates. Time to go. I should equip my. No, go away. Wow, they're, they're they're coming thick and fast. Let me get my combat accessories on. Okay, okay, in time. God, these guys hurt. I haven't upgraded my armor at all, so I guess that's to be expected. Ow. Um, this is gonna go very badly. I can feel it. I don't remember if they go away at any point. Like, if I if I had stayed underground, I don't think they would have not showed up. I don't think that's how it works. This KO cannon takes care of him well enough. Well, let me turn off the freaking ruler. Oh god, they hurt so bad. Ah, oh, god. What I need is I need to. Ooh, ooh, I know where I can go. Now they're all gonna pile up on here. And I can just hit them with the star. Because I'm nowhere near equipped to properly deal with the invasion. God, this is gonna take ages. I'll take that. <laughs> this feels so cheap. Another mechanical eye, really? I already have that one. I forgot that happened. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back in there. I think I might be better off just doing this. Yeah, I'm, I'm way better off just killing myself over and over. Oh, this might be good. Yeah, if they, if they all stick there and never get up. They are getting up, as you can see. This will be a good place to fight them at least. Wow! Okay! Sure! Why not? Everybody come in! Just, let's just get every- 
everybody in here. They have the whole world in my house. Come on in. At this rate, my recording's gonna hit max time before I actually do anything. Okay, I got a decent amount of kills there. All right, now get lost, pirates. We're good. Maybe. I hope. Um, well, that pretty much tears any opportunity I had for being remotely productive with any of the other towns this week. So, um... Uh... Hey, pirates, uh... Oh my god. We've lost so much I spent an hour fending off that pirate invasion. An entire hour. But hey, at least we got a uh, an entire two platinum coins out of it. Wow. So that was a unproductive episode, kind of. We got one town done. We got our cave town back, and it looks pretty neat on the map. Not entirely productive episode. We got some stuff done. We did some stuff. Next episode, I'm gonna be building more of the the towns. So I'll see you then, and thank you for watching. God.